All right, number six. Um, we're obviously about to go through the biggest transformation of wealth from the baby boomers to people our age, I guess. I went to a funeral recently and I was looking around and six of my friends were there and they haven't had much money um, management in their lives and they're about to inherit a fair amount of money. So how would you tell someone who's 50, they've just inherited 500 grand, how would you tell them to invest it? Same answer. What do you want? What are you looking for? What do you hope to get out of the 500? Do you want to preserve it? Do you want to... Do you want to invest it aggressively? Uh, there's no right answer because it all depends on how much time, how much risk, how much money, how much skill, passive, active. There's, there's so many variables. You can't let the outcome be predicated by the sum. You have to you have to say, this is the outcome I'm working towards and here's the money I've got to achieve that outcome. Otherwise, you get what you get and you don't get upset. What I call the difference between an asset outcome or a, an asset portfolio and an outcome portfolio. So I would say if someone came to me with that question, I'd say first thing is I'm not licensed to give you advice. And the second thing I'd say is speaking generally from an education point of view, what outcome are you trying to achieve when and how? Hmm. Don't do nothing. And I, I keep making this point. Our parents tell us, it's important to save, but who do you know who got rich by saving? Saving's not the answer. Saving is a consumption control. You need to save up to spend down, but really where you get rich from saving is deploying the capital. So I would say, how are you going to, as I've said this before, make the most money in the quickest time for the least risk and lowest aggravation for you? Mm-hmm. 